Hey guys, welcome back. Um, One last bite, and another pie is gobbled by Gabbily. Your duty is as neglected as an abandoned puppy. Oh, I've never abandoned Gromit. Of course you wouldn't. Now we have to get... Oh yes, everything seems to be in order here. Nothing to report. Woohoo! That blooming Bobby has been up there for an hour or more and won't get off. He says he's carrying out an inspection, but he won't find anything untoward on any of my rides. Everything's above board here. Yeah? Oh, uh, 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 of course. And what's that supposed to mean? Uh, uh, nothing. Your rides had a spot of mechanical trouble, I see. Oh, no, no, that, 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 that's nothing. Um, purely cosmetic. Um, the, uh, um, <laughs> Uh, inner mechanics still run like clockwork. Oh. Uh, had to institute a weight limit, though. Uh, don't want any heavy hands bringing things to a halt. No, of course not. Yeah. Unless we find a pig, we have no chance of bringing down that machine. Balloon! A, a balloon? Always uh, good for a lift? <laughs> Let's go to the pipe competition. The contest hasn't ended yet. Why no, it's a last man <coughs> woman standing competition. Oh, who's winning? <coughs> As if you had to ask, man. Ha <laughs> ha! By my count, the current leader by a thick crust is Mrs. Gabbily Hogwash! Woohoo! Mmm! And I'm relishing every bite! Ha! <laughs> I'm just getting warmed up! We'll uh -oh. see about that. Mr. Wallace, would you mind bringing Paneer this slip of paper here when you've a moment? Right oh. The would be oh, chopping yes. champion continues to shovel pie down his gullet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at these. What's this? Oh, the rest of me finished pies. The rest? Oh, my stomach told me I'd got through more than just these appetizers here. And Major Crumb has just learned that Mrs. Gabberly is in the lead by a most devastating pie margin. Oh, not feeling too tickety-boo right now. I... I think I might have been out by the enemy. And it seems the Major might be giving up, though he's only nine pies behind. Nine? That's it. I capitulate. I surrender. Oh. Hoist the white napkin of chronic pie fatigue. Yippee! And yeah. down goes the major. Out for the count. At a boy, Mrs. Gabberly. Congratulations! Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you like pies, Paneer's purveyors of peculiar produce is open daily for all of your baking and pie eating needs. I can't believe she beat me. I'll never be able to show my face in the officer's mess again. Never mind, Major Crumb. You guzzled gamely. Perhaps you just bit off a bit more than you could chew. Perhaps a man must know his limits. <sighs> the only thing that can lift my spirits now is a spin on that RAF ride, if you'll excuse me. Oh, I must have put on five stone. Yes. Let's go up there. Hello, Wallace. Uh, a note, Mr. Paneer. Your duty is as neglected as an abandoned puppy. Hmm. That's odd. Stop the ride! That's enough. Suppose I'd better get back to the station. Duty calls. Yeah, sure. Okay, Major Clown, get on the freaking ride. 
I was only on her this morning. Oh, just over our limits, I'm afraid, Corporal Crumb. You must have piled on pounds since then. That blinking contest? And I'm a major, don't you know? Aye, a major liability. Oh. So you're banned, for safety's sake. Perhaps go for a jog or summit and work off some of that extra weight. Oh, that's how the four major bits. And remember, whether you want pakora, pies, puddings, or pomegranates, they're all available at Panier's Peculiar Produce. Just two minutes walk from this fairground. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Major Crumb, who doesn't love a festive balloon? Used to tie the old balloon to our knapsacks when we were in the long grass to distinguish ourselves from the enemy. Uh, perhaps you're ready for the ride now? You might be right. I'm feeling lighter on my feet already. Oh. <laughs> Weight limit fast. All aboard. Nice. Now let's see some fire, a fireworks show. <laughs> Chuck away! Cabin doors to manual. Ready for takeoff. Blam! Yeah! Oh! Major Crumb's carrying too much excess baggage. The ride's going to burst in seams. We've been hit. Oh, oh my giddy ants. Oh my. Those poor dogs are trapped inside of that dreadful no, tree the entire time. Are you all right, lad? Where is that monster, Monty Muscle? He was just here a moment ago. Up, up and away. Hey, what are you doing? What, what, what the hell are you doing? Monty Muscle! And our money! Oh, and Twitch! That son of a bitch! Arrivederci! Monty Muzzle stock is on the road. Oh, there's no way to scale away! This is no time to jettison the cream, Gromit! We don't do floats! What'll it be, lad? One scoop or two? Oh, good show, Muscle, old chap. Not exactly what I planned, but a clean escape, nevertheless. A few quid, and one unexpected runt richer. What do you say, boys? Think we can find work for this emaciated mongrel? That's what I thought. <laughs> oh, lick your box of glory! He's got a head start, lad. We've got to find a way to close the gap. Let's take this. Shed some pounds. I wonder what could have been that heavy. Uh, we puncture free lead line tires. Those didn't come cheap, you know. And how are we going to land without any undercarriage? Uh, I don't know. Look, we're gaining on him. Sweet. The old churning arm had its work cut out with that batch. Whew. Things are getting a bit sticky back there. Okay, now this. Looks like we've sold out of all our cones. That's good news. Direct, nice. lad. Hey, hey, now he's up a gum tree. We'll catch him now. Look at my engine, will they? I can still outrun them with a the wind at my back. <laughs> hey, hey, they've run out of lift. Ah, sorry, my little twitching bag of bones, but no one's coming to save you now. Don't count on that yet, asshole! 
Come on, Twitch. Let's get out of here. Where do you think you're going with that? Eh, uh, fine then. Let go. Escape with your flea-ridden friend. I had enough of muscle. You know what? Fuck it. Hey, it chicken. Easy, Here's something, JP. You've already been fed today. Ow! Get away! Stay away! Now, listen, chickens. Ah! I should have fucking falls and dies. Witch. Please, please! Someone call off the chicken! Yeah, in your dream, pal. Lucky crab, Rummit! Let's get out of here! Oh. How the hell did you manage to do that? Oh no. Oh god. Are we still alive? Help, Gromit! Muzzle's mustache has gone flat! Oh dear. This is such Don't a mess. Lose that arm, Gromit! But nothing a little glue can't fix! Give that back right now! Or what? You know what? Let's... If you want your master to take you for walkies ever again, you'll be very careful with that. Or else what, Jackass? Careful, I said! No! Ah, oh, no. Oh, oh, my beautiful mummy! What an idiot! Help! We're still falling, lad! Here comes Roman to the rescue again! Some more, eh? It should hold us for just long enough. They might have flown too high and suffocated in the atmosphere. Happened to many a bomber in the war. And all to save a poor defenseless puppy. <laughs> Who would have thought Wallace was so selfless and brave? Aye, but more importantly, that blinking fair grown felon still got her cash. He's due a sock in the mouth and a kick in the head. I agree. Duncan, the last thing we need is more violence. We need heroes. Look, my Zeus's beard. What on earth is that? It's a giant mustache. Ah, I've seen bigger. Jimmy, pop this so better. Uh, yes, and saved by a whisker. Something of a close shave, eh, Gromit? Oh, ho. Ah! oh. Wow! <laughs> oh, I love justice. These poor pups won't go homeless after all, Gromit. Me and Mr. Gabley would be thrilled to take them in. No, we wouldn't. Pipe down, you misery guts. Great. Yet another mouth to feed. Three mouths. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, Gromit, feel free to pop by for walkies any time you like. Your friends will always be here. Sweet. Oh, that little one's quite the hero. Have to keep him out of trouble from now on. Wallace! Oh, that was a feat of incredible bravery! Oh, it was nothing, Miss Flit, really. All in a day's work for Gromit and me. Couldn't let Muzzle run off with our Twitch now, could we? A man like you is one in a million, Wallace. Your courage, your selflessness, your aerial acrobatics. You could have been killed, yet you saved the poor whippets, apprehended the monstrous mountain muzzle, and saved everyone's fortunes. You're a true hero to the town. Oh, thanks. 
well, uh, um, thank you very uh, much, gonna Mr. She's going to say that she loves mm -hmm. us or something. Uh, now, if only I could find the piece I that... I feel uh, a little awkward asking you this, Wallace, but I was wondering... With a bit of elbow grease, I'm sure Gromit and I can have this up and running again by Christmas. Wallace, I... I have a proposal for you. Now, I wonder where this goes. Oh, Wallace, Wallace. a proposal and a ring. Oh, no. How, how oh, shocking. I beg your pardon, Miss Flit. Oh, and so polite. Now, calm yourself, Felicity. Will I, Felicity Flit, marry you, Wallace? Oh, God! Now, pull yourself together, Felicity. Oh, shit. You mustn't rush into this. I'm honored that you would have me as your bride, Wallace. But I must think it over. I shall give you my answer within the week. Well, Wallace, now you are in some deep shit. Bye bye, the Zelda so free. Next, it will be the finale of Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures. The Boogeyman. Will Wallace manage to get himself out of this situation? Will he get married with this split? Find out in the finale of Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures.